Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, you might know me from TikTok at Tylee Talk. And normally what I do on my TikTok is I critique logos, I redesign logos, I do basically anything to do with logos. And a lot of those videos are about redesigns that have come out in the last couple of years that people either hate or love. And so I decided to make one of my first coming back to YouTube videos be about logo redesigns. And a lot of the YouTube videos that I like to watch are like tier list videos. So I decided to compile as many modern logo redesigns that I could find and say what I like about them, what I don't like about them and get a definitive ranking. I believe I have 44 modern logo redesigns in here. Let's get right into it. I decided to just do the classic S tier and then A, B, C, D. Uh, these aren't in any kind of order, I should say that. Uh, they're just random. So first we have the eBay logo. I don't really hate or have any strong feelings about this. I mean, the first one with kind of dull colors and overlapping, the second one's kind of boring. So I'd probably just put this in like C tier because I don't really think anything dramatically changed about that. Okay, up next we have Gap. And this logo redesign people hated so much that I think they changed it back like within a day <laughs> to the old one. I don't necessarily, if I saw this one, I don't think I would hate it so much if it was like the only logo, but Gap, just the square and the font used in it, I feel like is just pretty iconic and there was no reason to really change it. And obviously people got so mad about it that they went back. So I think I would have to put this one in the D tier. Okay, Kia is interesting because I don't hate the new logo and a lot of these are car logos that have changed like within the last two years. Um, and they definitely are going with simpler design. You can really see kind of like the influence in Tesla in these car redesigns because a lot of them went from like having a very like chiaroscuro look to them with like bevel and emboss and everything like that to these very flat minimalist designs. The only thing I will say about this is it kind of looks like a K and a backwards N, which I don't really like that about it. Um, and so for that, I think I would have to call it in the C tier. Okay, Popeyes, this one's kind of controversial. Whenever I put this in my TikToks, people like either really loved the new one or really hated the new one. So I personally really like the new one. I think the old, it's just a P inside of a circle, like doesn't really have anything to do with Popeyes. It's just like the P reused. Um, and the new one is a lot cleaner. It has a chicken, which they're known for having chicken. So it's like right away, you know what you're gonna get. And I think that they, the old font was kind of like very cartoonish and weird. And the new one is very, it's like still fun and playful, but it's a lot simpler and easier to read. So for that, I like this one a lot. So I think I'm gonna put this one in the A tier. Okay, we have CIA. This one was also controversial when I, whenever I've put it in a TikTok video. I think the old one is like fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. And it obviously would work as like, a patch on like a uniform or a shirt. Um, but the new one, it's almost like a James Bond reference or something in here because it really upped the cool factor a lot on the logo. I don't really think that they necessarily needed a change, but I do like the new one. I don't know, I don't wanna put it in the S tier because I'm kind of saving that for the top ones in my opinion. But I think this one's a good change and I'm gonna go with A tier for that one. Okay, up next we have Slack. Um, I never really hated their old one. It's like a hashtag. And if you've ever used Slack before, the channels are like defined by, like they have a hashtag and then the channel. I actually read a couple articles on this and the reason they wanted to change it is because whenever people would try to replicate the logo, there's actually like the four main colors, but then in the crosshatch, there's four other colors. So the logo actually has eight colors in this tiny little thing. And so they really wanted to get away from that. And that's how they landed on this new one. I don't love the new one. I don't hate the new one. It's a lot more dynamic, but I'm looking at it from far away right now and you really can't tell what it is. And I think that's kind of like the whole point of a logo. So I think I'll put just put this one in B tier. I don't really think it's bad, but I don't think it's amazing. Okay, up next we have a very controversial one, which is BMW. A lot of people hate this one. Uh, especially every time I put it in a video, people hate it. Um, and I kind of feel the same way because 
It just feels like there's a lot of empty space. I think I would have just taken out BMW altogether if you want to simplify it this much. These emblems are on the car. And I think taking away that physical button identity is kind of like a miss in my opinion. I wouldn't say that this as a standalone logo is the worst I've seen. So I think I'll put this one in C tier as well. Okay, next we have Airbnb. Um, there was nothing really special about the first logo and it didn't really have an icon. And so I think the new one succeeds in actually having like, when I see this icon, I know it's Airbnb now. However, I just kind of don't understand what the symbol is. It looks kind of like a tent. It looks like a pointer. It looks like a lot of things, but I don't really understand how it has, how it relates to renting a house. So for that, I think I would put this in B tier because I don't hate the logo. I just don't really get how it relates to what Airbnb does. Okay, now we have one that I absolutely despise. <laughs> this is the Animal Planet logo. I remember when they changed from the elephant on the globe to this newer green one. Uh, and I never really had that many opinions on it. Like the M kind of looks like zebra stripes, but I don't really understand why it's turned sideways. But then they did this and they changed it to this generic looking clip art elephant with very tiny lettering saying Animal Planet in all lowercase. Nothing about this to me says it's a TV channel. Nothing about it to me says anything about what it does except be a, a plain blue elephant. I really don't understand why this change was made. And for all those reasons, I think this one has to go in the D list. I hate this one. Okay, Best Buy, I really don't think the new one is that terrible. However, it looks like just like the Bud Light font and logo that they did a couple years ago. And I also think making the price tag so small was kind of a miss on this one because the price tag is like really what makes best, like that is the Best Buy logo is this yellow price tag. But I don't hate the new logo. And I think the color change was good on this one. So I think I'll put this one in B. Okay, up next we have Burger King and they made this change, I believe 2020, and they kind of went back to their vintage logo. They made a little bit of tweaks and made it, in my opinion, a little bit better than the old logo. Um, but I love this one. I love what they've done with the branding, kind of making it all feel like this 70s vibe. I think the new one is just much cleaner and I like it a lot. This one I think I'm gonna put in the a tier, but I might, I don't know. You know what, actually, I love this one so much, I'm just gonna put it in S. Okay, next we have Nissan, and again, this is kind of very similar to BMW in that they just kind of made this 3D logo that's pretty recognizable on a car and made it flat. However, I have seen this on a couple cars nowadays, and I actually really, really like how it looks on there, and I think it still did a good job of like getting the elements of the first logo, but making it modern. And I really like this one as a change, so I think I would put this one in A. Okay, next we have DeviantArt. I don't really care about this too much. The old one was very, like looks like one of, like it could be on like the first iPhone, like an app that kind of is in that, again, Kairoscuro style. The new one, I don't really understand what this, logo is supposed to be like it kind of looks like a z um but it's definitely more modern and i don't really care that much about it but i think i put this one in b okay next we have dictionary.com and thesaurus.com and i love this change i mean the old one it, i really don't know it looks like an asteroid hitting the word um it's not bad also it's again one of these websites where i'm like i don't really care or i don't see this logo on a daily basis so i don't really care what their logo looked like but the new ones are so smart in that they look like the letter, obviously D for dictionary, T for thesaurus, but they look like a book that's opening. Yes, it's a website, but it still has that feeling of like you're opening a book, you're opening a dictionary to find what you're looking for. So I think for this one, I'm actually gonna put it in the S tier. Okay, Domino's, I really like this change as well. The word is like so much more in your face immediately. And I think putting the blue and the red in the domino make it look more like a domino because like an actual domino does have that different colors on the top and the bottom. And so for that, I think I would put this one in A because I just think it's a much stronger logo than the original. Okay, now we have GM. They changed this in 2021 and it just took everything away from it that 
it didn't need to. It just kind of feels a lot more childish, whereas the first one feels a little more grown up. For that, I honestly think I might put this one in D tier. Okay, Google, I remember when this change happened and people were not really all that happy about this change. Flattening it and making it a little more minimalist is kind of where a lot of different logos are going nowadays. And I think you can really see the change in all of their app icons, like on Google Drive or Gmail. Everything has kind of like aligned with the branding, kind of similar to Instagram actually. And I think for that, it was a really good change overall. And now that I'm like used to the new logo, I really like it. It's very approachable. I think I'm gonna give this one an A to your ranking. Uber, I remember when the app changed for Uber and I just didn't really understand why they would take the U away. I think I'll just put this one in C and call it a day. Okay, Pizza Hut, they went back to their, one of their older logos, just all of it under this umbrella of the iconic red roof. So I like that they went back to this and I think I'm gonna put this one in A tier. Uh, Volvo did this thing that similar to BMW, but just another level. I don't really understand why they had to make the arrow separate from the circle. I don't really get it at all. Like I think it could have just been the circle with the arrow if they wanted to simplify it like that. And then Volvo just looks like very tiny in this really big thick circle. And it just like none of it works for me. I just don't like it like at all, None, not a single part of it. So for that, I think I'm gonna put this one in D tier. Okay, this one is very controversial. I know a lot of people hate this one. It's Smuckers. They didn't change the logo on their jam jar. They just changed like the company logo as a whole to this colorful rainbow strawberry leaf. It's just a very iconic logo and I don't really think that they needed to change it. And so for that, I think I'm gonna put this one in the D tier. Kraft did something very similar. This is also their company redesign and it's just, Bad. I don't really understand the need to change it or why they changed it at all. Um, and I do believe they actually went back to it because of the backlash. So for that, I'm gonna also put this one in D tier. All right, UPS definitely simplified the logo, but then they added like the bevel and the shine on it. But it really does look like it's on, it could be put on a truck. And I think that just putting it all in one icon was smart also. So I think I'll put this one in B. I don't really have any strong feelings positively or negatively about it. So. Put that one in B. Okay, YouTube, I think the old logo and the new logo like didn't change too much, but I think adding the play button in there, that is such a big part of YouTube. I mean, creators, when they get to a certain level, they get the $100,000 play button, 100,000 follower play button, or the million follower play button. And I think it's just a part of YouTube. Like when you click play, you click on that triangle every time you click on a video. So I think I'm gonna put this one in A tier. Okay, next we have Dunkin' and they actually, it wasn't just a logo change, they changed like the full name of their company from Dunkin' Donuts to Dunkin'. Um, I think that's smart because honestly, Dunkin' is in my opinion more known for their coffee these days than their actual donuts. When I lived in New York, everybody got Dunkin' coffee in the mornings. But I do kind of miss it having some kind of icon. I just think it's a little bit too simple now. I'm going to put this in B because I don't think it's bad. I just miss have it having its own icon. Okay, MasterCard. I think this one is a perfect example of how to go from a, a logo that looks dated to a logo that looks modern but keeps all the same elements of the first one. So we still have the name, we still have the two circles, and we still have the overlap. It's just they flattened it, they made it be three separate colors, and it really just looks good as a whole, but you can still tell which company it is even if you are only familiar with the old logo. So. I actually am gonna put this one in S tier because I think they just did a really good job of modernizing, but still keeping it the same. Okay, Netflix, I don't really have a care on this one. I think I might actually put this one in C because I just don't really think it needed a change and I liked the old one. Okay, PayPal, I think this one is a, a good change, um, kind of similar to the MasterCard one, honestly, how it's two Ps overlapping with a different color in the middle. So as an app icon, as a new standalone logo, I think PayPal did a really good job with this one. So I'm gonna put this one in A. 
Okay, now we have a really controversial one that everyone hated when this came out. Petco basically took the two, the dog and the cat, out of their logo and changed the color, changed the font. And a lot of people were saying that it really just kind of looks like hospital-y, like just very generic. Um, it looks cold. Even if they took the faces off, or did something different to the pets, but kept it in the logo, I don't think anybody would have had an issue with the color and the font change, but the fact that they took it fully out of it is what made everybody up in arms. And for that, I think I'm gonna put this in D tier. Planters. I think the new font is much bolder and you can see it immediately. And the color's nice, the drop shadow's nice. Every time I've put this on TikTok, people are mad that they took the peanut away. So I think taking him away was really the downfall with this one, but I do like the feel of the new one. So I'm gonna put this in B. Okay, now we have a really controversial one. Actually, this is what started my entire journey into making logo videos. If you click here, you can actually see me redesign this new Pringles video, but I basically saw this on Twitter and people were hating on the new one because it is just very flat. I mean, they did take away a lot of the features from him, but the more I've seen it on cans and in the stores, the more I actually really like it. You can still tell immediately from far away that it's the Pringles guy. For all the different types of Pringles that they have, the guy actually has a different expression. So his eyebrows might be like up and his eyes are kind of crazy when it's a spicy one, for instance. It's really changed my mind on the Pringles logo as a whole. So I think I'm gonna actually put this one in A tier. Okay, up next we have Pfizer. I had to include this one just because Pfizer has been obviously a big name in 2020, 2021, 2022. The old one did kind of look like a pill which I think is smart because they are in healthcare. The new one, you can kind of see a pill shape inside of the little twirly thingies, but it also kind of just looks like two streamers. And I don't really understand the point of it. Like, I think they could have honestly just made it be the name and that's it. I'm, I think I'm going to put this one in C just because I don't really get why they put streamers in it. Next we have Instagram. This is another one that when it first came out, there was a lot of controversy about it. Nobody liked it. Everybody liked the old app icon. I mean, it is very different, but I think as Instagram has evolved over time, this logo really was part of a much bigger branding idea than just being an app icon. They really went with a more like fun, approach to what the app looks like and can do. They've taken the gradient that's in the icon and they've really used it throughout the app. And so for that, I'm gonna put this one in A tier. I do miss the old like camera feel of the old one, but I think overall this logo change was necessary to the direction of the app. Okay, GoDaddy, I only put this one on there because a lot of people on my TikTok have extreme feelings one way or the other about it. They either hate the new logo or they love the new logo. Why is it a heart? This G looks almost like a J, like a fish hook. It de definitely, the new one does not tell me that this is a place to make a website. So for that, I'm gonna give it a D tier. Okay, Discord, I know a lot of people really didn't like the change, but I am gonna be on the defense of that and I actually do like the change. The new color is a lot stronger of a color. When I see the app on my phone, I immediately know it's Discord because I don't have any other apps on my phone with that color. It's very bright. I don't really like the old font or the new font, so I don't really have an opinion either way on that change. I know a lot of people really don't like the new font. I really like this change, so I'm gonna actually put it in A tier as well. Spike, I think, the yellow and the black was kind of iconic for the channel, so I kind of missed that they took away the yellow, but I love the jagged line through the P, I, K, and it still looks like a P, I, and a K. So I'm gonna put this one in B tier. Starbucks announced that they were gonna take away Starbucks coffee from theirs and just make the, it be the mermaid icon in green instead of in black. And I think this change was really smart. I mean, Starbucks, you could literally just hold a coffee cup with a green circle on it and people would know it's Starbucks. So I don't think taking the name off of it at this point and with how big of a brand it is was a bad idea. So for that, I'm gonna give this one actually S tier. Okay, Fridays, I don't really have an opinion about this. I honestly don't, haven't even seen a Fridays in a long time, like in the real world. I think it kept some of the elements of the old one, the stripes, the big font that says Fridays, adding TGI on the side like that, I don't really 
care too much, but I think this as a modern logo works a lot better. And I think they can do a lot with this striped branding. So I actually really like this one. I think I'm gonna put it in A tier. Pepsi, everyone hated when this change happened. I remember it. I don't necessarily know why. I mean, it didn't change too much. I don't understand why they had to make the little loopy thing in the middle be dramatically like this, as opposed to just straight up and down. I think I'm just gonna put this in B because it's fine. I don't really care either way. <laughs> Okay, TripAdvisor, I really like the new logo. It's clean. You can still tell it's the same exact icon, but the color is a lot more bold, kind of similar to Discord. It's just a better color and it stands out more. I don't know anybody that uses TripAdvisor in 2022, but as a logo on its own, I like it. So I'm just gonna put this one in B. Volkswagen, again, it's like the same thing we've seen with all these car logos. It's just very flat now. It doesn't look like a button that goes on a car anymore. It's just very thin lines. So for that, I'm gonna put it in C just because of how I don't really get how it's gonna look on the car. Papa John's, I actually found this one today as I was trying to find all these logos. I really, really like the new change that they did. I didn't even know they made this change, um, but it's just a lot cleaner. The color is a lot brighter. It took away a bunch of the elements that weren't really necessary anymore. I think this was a very smart move and I, I really like it. So I'm gonna put this one in A. Warner Brothers, and this was another one that people got really up in arms about when the change actually happened, but I don't dislike the change. I mean, I know a lot of people were mad because it is just a very iconic logo that you've seen time and time and time again in movies. Just for as a branding perspective for the company as a whole, I like it. So I'm gonna put this one in, I'll just put it in B tier. Lastly, we have Yahoo, and I think this is a smart move. The color is a little bit nicer, and the font is definitely more legible, especially when it's on a white background, when you're seeing this on a website. I don't really know that many people who use Yahoo anymore, so I don't really, care too much that they made this change. And when I was looking, they made a lot of changes in recent years. But I think as a logo, it's a little bit nicer and a lot easier to read. So I'm just gonna put this one in B. Honestly, I think this is a pretty good list. I mean, I think all the ones I hate are definitely at the bottom. If I had to pick a favorite, I honestly might say Burger King is my favorite in recent years, just because all the packaging and everything on it looks really, really nice together with the new logo. And the logo change was really more about a brand identity as opposed to just changing the logo for whatever reason. You might have been able to tell this from my reaction when I first saw it, but to me, Animal Planet is just the worst of the worst. I literally hate that cartoonish looking elephant. I just do not get it whatsoever. So that's my ranking. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. I'm trying to grow this channel a little bit more to bring some of my ideas from TikTok into longer form videos. So if you like this kind of video, definitely subscribe to the channel. What do you think? Do you think my ranking is correct? Are there any that you absolutely don't agree on? Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you the next one.